This patient says that they've seen some of our videos and that they have a very optimistic take on prostate cancer patients, but that they this person also sees that prostate cancer is one of the leading cause of death in men. Great question. The, um, the issue, of course, now in this modern era, if people are screened carefully, if they get regular PSA testing, and if they do come down with a type of prostate cancer that could be life-threatening, almost all of them are going to end up getting cured. And so we certainly should be optimistic about that. There are occasional, rare, uh, newly diagnosed men where it all sneaks through, and the cancer sneaks through, all the things we put in front of it, and then over another, another 10, 15, 20 years later, the person is facing early demise. And uh, of course, that's a sad and real thing that happens. Uh, that's pretty uncommon. The main problem, of course, is that some men don't get screening, and by the time their cancer is uh, diagnosed, it's already spread around the body, and those people can die within 3 to 12, 15 years, something like that, and that's far more serious. Uh, nowhere near as serious as, say, something like a pancreas or a lung cancer, where people can be dead within six months easily. We need to be optimistic in most cases, more optimistic than what people typically are thinking, and if people will do adequate homework and find out where they fit in the spectrum of this, all these things that I just described, they'll realize that definitely want to be optimistic. Um, but there are certain situations where uh, people do die of prostate cancer that's very serious. Thankfully, it's getting to be less and less, and it's certainly a, a relatively small minority of men, uh, of the number of men who have prostate cancer. So our next patient asks if two and a half years of survival benefit from adding chemotherapy to hormone therapy and a second generation antiandrogen, is it anything to be excited about? I'd be more interested if it was 10 or 15 years. Well, it's an interesting way of looking at it because the chemotherapy for prostate cancer, Taxotere is the mainstay, and this is what they're referring to. Um, there are clinical trials that look at uh, newly diagnosed men with metastatic cancer. Uh, whether they have hormone therapy alone, hormone therapy plus second generation hormone therapy, or hormone therapy plus second generation plus chemotherapy or taxotere. Studies are showing that the combination of all three can add a couple more than two years to your life expectancy. Uh, the, uh, yeah, it would be more exciting if it was 15 years, uh, but two years, uh, is, uh, is a very substantial amount of time considering that the taxotere is a fairly mild medicine. It doesn't impact the quality of life uh, in, a, in, a, in a seriously negative way. So why not? I mean, if it's the best we can do, why wouldn't we want to grab those two years? And you might even get lucky. So who knows when the next big breakthrough is going to be discovered. And if you can hang around for a couple more years, it, that big discovery may occur during that time period, and you'll be able to catch another wave and buy a couple more years. And maybe they can buy a couple more years. Uh, we're in a very exciting time now with all these new discoveries coming out. This person knows the literature. That's, uh, that's a reality for people that ha are being diagnosed with early, uh, with metastatic disease at the time of, uh, you know, they first become aware they have cancer. Uh, these are people, of course, that didn't get PSA screening, unfortunately, and uh, the whole problem could have probably been avoided if they'd simply gotten a PSA test every year. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this information helpful, you can visit our website, pcri.org, and consider a donation. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new prostate cancer videos every week.